Hi everybody, this is Julie with ReadySitStamp.com and I'm going to be showing you a card today with CardsTV.Blogspot.com for the challenge and the challenge is anything snow themed so it can be snowman, snowflake, or snow so I'm kind of going to have a little bit of all of that on my card today so I'm just using a regular A2 size card and faux stitched around the outside I believe this paper is called Whimsy Christmas or Whimsy something I can't remember the name of the paper but anyway I got it from Michaels and it's um, in the Christmas section this year and it's one of the recollections or recollections however you say that so anyway it's from that set and let me show you the stamp set that I'm going to be using today from Cards TV stamps called Christmas Joy and the part, the one that I'm going to be using, it says get your jingle on. So what I've done here is just kind of taken some, what I, what I tried to make it look like snow and cut it up here so it looks a little bit hilly, added some little twine to it, and then stamp get your jingle on. I always stamp it, if I'm going to emboss it, I stamp it first and then I emboss it. And the embossing folder that I used was Divine Swirls. So I'm going to go ahead and get my HED tape onto the back of this so I can get this down onto my card. There we go. A little bit more at the top here. Okay. So let's add that right here. And then the next thing that I'm going to do, here's the cute little snowman that I've done. And this is from... The Winter Frolic Cricut Cartridge on page 29. I cut it out at 3 inches. And the cute little face that you see stamped onto there is from Peachy Keen. And let me get the name of it here. It's called Winter... Um, let's see. It says Winter here, but let me see. Winter Faces. So Winter Fa Faces Assortment Package. So that's the one that I did. And I like it because it's got the little coal for his mouth. And then I've just colored it in with a little bit of orange and a little pink and um, a little kind of yellow color for the corn cop pipe. So I'm going to go ahead and just adhere this onto my card. And I thought about using an action wobble, but I don't think that I'm going to. And I'll kind of explain why in just a little second. Because it's going to have kind of heavier arms. And I'll explain that in just a minute here. And I'm even not going to pop this up on mounting foam. I want it to kind of be more flat. So I'm just going to put that right there. So now here's my reasoning. I got these adorable little buttons. Some are flat, some are not flat from Karen for my design team. And in it were these cute little mittens. See how cute these are? So these are cute little mittens that came in with this set and they're both flat which is perfect to use on a card. So, I rather than, well, I did put these mittens on, but what I'm going to do is adhere these onto here. So, he's going to have big, big hands for big hugs. Isn't that too cute? So, I'm going to add that onto there. So, I'm going to use my glue dots here. I've got some medium glue dots. I've got medium, small, and then the large, which are the 3Ds. So, I think for these, these are a little bigger. So, I'm going to use my medium size dots on these guys here. On the little mittens, so I'm going to add one mitten here. That looks so cute. And then I'll add one mitten here on this side. There we go. That's so cute. Okay, so there's both of those. And then in that same package was this cute little Christmas present. So I'm also going to add that to my card which I thought would be really sweet. And I'll just kind of add that down in the corner here. So like the snowman has a little present. Now for some more snow, I've cut these cute little snowflakes out. And the snowflakes out are cut out from the winter woodland cartridge. And I think I cut them out if I'm not mistaken. I think I cut them out at, let me measure it here. Looks like three quarters of an inch when I measure it. So three quarters of an inch. So I'm going to go ahead and get my little glue here. If I can find it. Actually, you know what? That's alright. I can just use these little glue dots. Sometimes it's just easier. So I use these little glue dots, the small one. Get that on the back of this little snowflake. I've cut out five of them. I like to do thing in, things in odd numbers. So I'm going to cut out 
or put on five of these. So there's the second one. And let's see here. I got a third one right there. And we got two more here. Put one right there. Maybe one alongside here. Too cute. So I like the way this card is turning out. I think that looks adorable. So I've got some more things that I want to do to this. And the next thing that I want to do is add some of these sparklets, which are just gorgeous. Can you see how much those sparkle? So pretty. Not exactly cheap. You guys can see the price on those. $4.49. Would never spend that kind of money on just something. Personally, I wouldn't do that. But I got a gift certificate, so I kind of went a little more extravagant on things that I wouldn't normally purchase, but um, but I really like. So I sort of treated myself is what I did. And I'm just going to put these little dots here. I have exactly five of this lighter blue color, which I think looks really pretty. So I'm putting them all inside of my cute little snowflakes here which I think that looks so sweet. And last but not least, the one thing that I wanted to do, which everyone gasp, I'm using stickles. Hard to believe, I know. So, and trust me, if I would have had rhinestones that were black, I would have used them, but I didn't. So, I'm using stickles, and I'm just trying to find a little scratch piece of paper here. Here we go. I like to sort of, when I do use my stickles, I like to kind of, just so it won't blob on my snowman or whatever I'm working on first. I'd like to try to get just a little bit out just to make sure it's not gonna blob out onto my snowman. So now I'm gonna do three little dots. So let's see here. Hopefully this camera will zoom in nicely. And I'll kind of show you what I do because mine usually end up looking like Hershey's Kisses. They got that little point at the very end see what I'm talking about? See the point? You guys can see the point there. So this is what I do. I tap mine. So you guys might do the same, but I tap mine so they go down flat so they don't look like Hershey Kisses and look funny. So that's what I do to mine. One of them's being a little stubborn. Still kind of sticking up there, but looks better than it did. So now I'm just going to wait for this to dry, but that is my finished card. I hope you guys enjoy it and come join us on the challenge. Have a great day, everybody. Bye-bye.